Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's fourth and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather. The day 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 13th of August. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Accenture Best and ECF Ensembles based on traffic of wins. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us more or less to the end of August. I should get to in fact for you in a moment. Just to say that first video release today was our 6th UK weather forecast. We've also released the weekend forecast and the EC42 Death UK Island. Check out all of today's videos and content. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. For Gabs, well, of it. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, right, let's start off with the situation in the tropics. So we now have tropical depression four. Getting maximum sustained winds of 30 miles per hour with a minimum set of pressure of 1,000 of my 1,009 millibars. Trouble depression four is moving west northwestwards at 16 miles per hour. Clicking on four and going here, we can see that uh, this is going to become a uh, tropical storm to the west of Florida through the uh, course of this weekend. And then as a tropical storm, tropical storm Debbie, I think, will push through fro Florida into Georgia and South Carolina, and then out into the Atlantic somewhere here by the middle of next week. <coughs> so, sorry everyone, and we'll bring copious amounts of rain and some very strong winds as it does so. So, uh, Charles Storm Debbie is on the way. We'll keep you updated. Central temperature is now sitting at 20.1, that is 4.4 degrees above 61 to 90, 90 average, but visual to yesterday, the 2nd of uh, August. That should start coming down, I think, from today onwards as the temperature has returned much closer to average. So it'll be interesting to monitor that and see how quickly it comes down over the next few days. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. Looking at London today, the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. So you're about average at the moment. Upper air temperatures will tick up for the early part of uh, next week, associated though with an area of low pressure, but quite warm on Monday, potentially for the extreme southeast still on Tuesday. But after that, very close to the long-term 30-year average. I've got a few very hot outliers showing up, particularly, most notably, those three blue lines just there. But the overall ensemble means, which is the white line, hovers very close to the long-term average. So most of the ensemble members are actually down here rather than up there. <coughs> So, so again, everyone, precipitation-wise, got dry weather through uh, the next couple of days. Some rain coming through. Um, well, for the north, it's going to be wet for the next couple of days, actually. But for the south, the rain doesn't arrive till probably Tuesday. It does look quite unsettled from about the end of next week onwards, though, for the middle part of August into the second half of the month. So could we be seeing signs of a wetter spell setting up there around the middle part of the month? It's possible, but it's a long way out. It's extended range, and therefore... Unreliable temperature normally is from the 30 length of August, about average, normally above the south, near normal, further north. Precipitation anomalies from the 3rd through to the 11th of August coming out. Uh, driving average in most areas, but the far west of southwest Scotland and also Northern Ireland closer to average or perhaps even slightly wetter. Latest wind from that from Earth from Nolschool.net shows that we're changing the air mass today. So, weather system through here, including from and behind that cooler, fresher air is heading in from off the Atlantic. So, today we're basically still unraveling the hot spell that we had uh, a couple of days ago. Right, so let's start going to the chart day. To be the latest UK met Euro right like midnight on Saturday. Low pressure west of Scotland. Weather system coming across the country. Bring a band of rain and very warm air ahead of that. Behind it does turn cooler and fresher. By Wednesday, we're into a cooler, fresher westy flow. And then we're into light westy winds. You're second half next week. A lot of dry and quite warm weather in the south. More unsettled further north. Possibly a hint by next week um, of cooler, more unsettled weather even getting into the south again. Icon looks very similar for Tuesday. Band of rain comes across the country, introduces fresher air for Wednesday. Thursday and Friday, a north-south split, mostly dry 
and you would have thought quite warm down the cell, a little bit more unsettled further north. And then into next weekend, while the flat westerly zonal flow is maintained and cooler air starts drifting down even into the south. This is how the KMA is looking. Once again, set up that north-south split through the second half of next week. Mostly dry, quite warm in the south. More unsettled with shallow rain up in the north. And then low pressure descending through the country. So turning uh, increasingly unsettled. And then, then, then we bring in this deep area of low pressure just here. But I think might contain the remains of Tropical Storm Debbie. So um, that's the 13th of August, long way out. That really starts to shake things up and turns us, wet well, it's a proper dartboard low, turns us all wet and windy. Not sure about that, could be a bit over the top. Um, the GFS Midnight Run once more has that weather system coming in from the Atlantic on Tuesday. So behind it, we've got cool Atlantic air, ahead of it, we're drawing up a warm southerly, uh, southwesterly air mass. Um, we go through next week, rather flat, rather westerly, high pressure in the south, bring quite a dry and warm weather there, always more unsettled though, further north. Into next weekend, the GFS midnight run then starts just lower pressure all over the place and turns increasingly unsettled as we go toward days 8, 9, 10, that is day 10, 13th of August, and not like what the KMA show, not as... Um, Stormy as that, but uh, nevertheless turning increasingly cool and wet there around uh, day 10. And we keep that very unsettled weather going into the middle part of the month as well before a little transient reach starts building back in southwest. That's soon flattened off by the next low. The GFS midnight run very unsettled through the middle part of the August. It's now a six head looks by comparison. So uh, again, we've got a north south split second half of this week. Mostly dry, quite warm from this ridge in the south. More unsettled with showy bursts up in the north and then very different for next weekend as the gfs midnight run starts to bring like a thundery feature up from the south and has some very hot air again sitting over france across 20 south iceberg getting to the northern coast of france um now a near miss heat wave with the gfs sits there before low pressure and starts sweeping in from off the atlantic around days nine and ten and uh, there we go, well, we maintain like a, a westy flow, really, as we get to the end of a GFS 6 z run. But there is a hint there, and around, when was it, around day 10, was it? Uh, so, uh, just here, so like next weekend, bit of a hint that we might get some hotter weather coming up from the south again. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks so much for doing that. Drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weather to get them to subscribe too. We need to put on 88 subscribers to get ourselves to 18.7k. Uh, um, so if you could give us a sub, that would be amazing. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. GM, once more with low pressure in from the Atlantic on Tuesday, bring very unsettled weather in with it. Wednesday, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we set up higher pressure in the south, so dry and warmer there, more unsettled and showering further north, heading to the end of the GM run. We just keep westerly flow going, and the next area of low is waiting in the wings in the Atlantic. And then the ECM rounding it all off, where it's just coming across the country on Tuesday, bring a band of rain with it, followed by showering, uh, cool conditions, or cooler conditions Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, uh, north south split, low pressure in the north, bring showery weather there, mostly dry and quite warm down in the south. And then into next weekend. And beyond it, another weather system zipping through the country there. In outbreaks of rain, central areas. But as a setup at day 10, looks like heights are generally lowering. And that could be going in the same direction as the GFS midnight run. If we could roll on another 24 hours, I suspect we would see um, this low just here, which is the remains of Debbie, amalgamated with this low here and this low here. And like the whole of the North Atlantic would just start turning more unsettled, I think, if we could go on another 24 hours. This is precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from tometeo.com. So, turning wet, windy in the northwest through tomorrow, and that rain lasting to Monday. Really high rainfall totals are possible west and southwest Scotland, and some parts of Northern Ireland, by the way, for the early part of next week. This rain going to be on for many, many hours in the northwest. So, one of those patterns, you know, where the pulses of rain just keep on coming. So, expect some flooding concerns, I think, 
the western, southwest Scotland, and maybe the northern Ireland. Obviously, it always drier further south and east until this band of rain pushes through Tuesday. A bit of uncertainty about that, how active that weather front going to be. It might produce some heavy shower, maybe even a bit of thunder. South East Corner will be one to watch on Tuesday. That certainly looks a little bit convective. South East Corner around Tuesday into Wednesday. In any case, regardless, that gets out of the way. And then we're left with showering westerly winds. And then uh, we've got a north-south split. So by the end of next week and next weekend, it's uh, unsettled in the north, mostly dry though, down in the south. And then as we head up towards day 10, start to more gem. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry again, everybody. It's starting to turn more generally uh, more. It's starting to turn generally more unsettled. These are the options on the table in the ECM ensemble today. Four day ten from the Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 13th of August. 27 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure over the country and in the Atlantic. That looks really quite unsettled. And then we've got 24 with low pressure further away to the northwest and higher pressure to the south. So that's a little bit drier. Um, and warmer for the south, that includes the control and the operational run. And then in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've been given. It's the 18th of August, 16 members of the ECM. So with low pressure to the north east, high pressure to the north west. That's going to be cool and showery. Got 13 with quite deep low pressure across the north and west of Europe combined with mid-Atlantic ridge. It's going to be unsettled, quite cool and wet. We've got to six with low pressure between Iceland and Norway. High pressure reaching through the coach. That should be a bit drier and warmer. We've got uh, another six with low pressure, though, over the country. Again, that could be quite cool and unsettled. We've got five with low pressure towards Scandinavia. High pressure in the Atlantic. Rather cool showering of that. And we've got another five with low pressure just to the northeast of Scotland. Again, cool and showery. Most of the options look like they're involving low pressure there at two weeks out. Oh, well, it could be that we're in for a more unsettled middle part of the month. CFS V2, finally, beats the 500 millibar height and lines, breaking down to weekly periods. The first week period takes us from the 3rd to the 9th of August. The next week has low pressure in Iceland and Scotland, high pressure from the Azores in towards France, winds coming in from a westerly direction. Dry in the south, wet is in the north. Week 2 is going to be the 10th through to 16th of August, low pressure in Iceland and Norway, Rather cool and showery conditions. Week three whee, <laughs> will be 17th to 23rd of August. So some high pressure in the Atlantic, low pressure down towards France, winds coming in. Perhaps from more of an easterly direction, a bit of a change in the wind direction. And then a big change in week four. This is going to be 24 to the 30th of August. High pressure then. Ridging from the Atlantic through the UK and up to northern Europe. That will bring the wind in from a much warmer easterly direction. And, uh, well, you know, that's setting up our typical warm, maybe very warm and dry start to September. Could that be, could that be the start of that? Maybe. It's a long way off, though, so, you know, four weeks away. We shall see. Okay, we've done it. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for showing everyone for DM out. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Webbins and get them to subscribe to me. Thank you so much, everyone, for DM out. I'll just tell you what's happening on my channel tomorrow. We're going to have a 6 a.m. broadcast. We've got the seventh update for autumn 2024. Coming up for you tomorrow, the final Gaz Weather it's Sunday Roundup of the year will be uh, released tomorrow. Recent, it's the last one because we're starting winter updates on the 1st of September. So, you know, uh, the year's getting on now. And we'll be live at 6 pm with your 10 to 14 day and some long rain. So, an epic day of content to come on the channel tomorrow. Please keep checking back for more. For this video and for today's video, so that's all for now. And thanks for watching.